This is a brief tutorial on how to use iMovie to stitch together a series of pre-created uh, movies and maybe spice it up a little bit with some uh, titles or editing just for clarification's sake. So I have iMovie open uh, to a new project and I'm going to go File and Import Movies and I'm going to leave it with the large and then I'm going to look they are actually in the downloads folder and I have movies one two three and four and I'm going to create a new event because I don't have an event and I'm going to optimize the video and copy the files not move the files so I'm going to import I'm going to pause because this will take a second to do. Okay, it took about three minutes uh, for it to process, and now it's generating thumbnail thumbnails. And as you can see in the process bar, it's moving along. And this will create down in this section, hopefully in order, uh, movies one, two, three, and four, which I'm going to uh, splice together. So, we now have all of the content in order. That's so what I'm going to do is start at the beginning and drag all the way down. Oops, if I can catch it. Didn't get it all, did I? No, I didn't get any of it. All right. keep letting my in this instance trying to use the mouse with limited space and so much content it's easier just to go up and say edit select all and then drag it all up now, the editing tip that I may get the best part of my videos is absolutely correct, but I'm just going to continue and add the whole shoot and match. And again, using this slide bar, right now it's looking at a uh, frame every five seconds. I can make each distinct video as a standalone, or I can zoom in and show them in 30 second increments. So. In this instance, I've got one video, two, three, and four. And if I want to insert a title, I go click on the title. And I'm going to pick just the basic centered. And I'm going to drag it up here to the front, so the green line. And I'm going to go with uh, sort of a basic pinstripe. And I get a title here. And this is podcast. I'm going to enter and Since I want this to be one line, I can text, show fonts, and create a smaller font. Looks like three will get me where I want to go. And if I want a different style, I can just go here. Do I like, ooh, I like that, I like impact. Okay, so now I have a title. I want a quick transition. I'll go to the transition tab here and I will go with a cross dissolve.
Now on this particular set of videos, uh, they are sort of intended to go one to the other, so I don't need transitions in between the individual parts. Um, however, I may want to do a audio adjustment so that the overall volume is either softer or louder. And I'm going to make it slightly louder, only because I was recording in a room with other people and my voice was a little bit soft. So let's say 140%. Um, I'm not going to add uh, additional. Um, well, actually, you know what? I am going to add a bit of music. So I go over to music and I like sound effects, jingles. Adjust them for time. Ascending. And I'm just going to pick one that I like. The piano ballad. I'm going to drag it up here. And since this is actually going to be long, I'm just going to use the piano ballad again and again. It's just a quick way to add music to my movie. One last piece of piano ballad. It's going to be a little bit too long, which is okay because it'll automatically trim. What I want to do here, first on all these clips, and now I want to select audio adjustment, and I want there to be ducking. So I want this to be the top track, and any other tracks will be minimized. And I do the same thing here audio adjustments, ducking. Done. Audio adjustment. Ducking. Done. Audio adjustment. Ducking. Done. All right. So I've got the duration. I don't necessarily need an audio effect. Uh, okay. I'm going to leave this as is. It's very basic. And as it plays along, I can see it goes from one to the next. And I'm going to do an audio adjustment. I'm just going to do a manual fade out and give it like one second to fade out. Add an ending title and I'll select zoom. I'll leave it the same. Any questions? Let's see, Mr. Simpson. Again, it's very rudimentary, and it just allows you to have title, music, and I'll make sure the cropping is set to fit. That's good. And make sure it's fit, because we, if we did Ken Burns, it would do this back and forth thing. We just want it to fit. Okay, so I'm now ready to export, share, export movie, I'm going to export using QuickTime, and I'm going to call it a tutorial.